Good morning, everybody. Welcome to East Tennessee Pinball and back to the Captain Fantastic. Let me show you what I've been uh, been up to here. So since you all saw this last, uh, I've done several things. First thing I did was I rewired this mess here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the last video. Uh, this was all burnt up. So reconnected the green and white one here. Uh, harvested a plug off another old junk machine soldered it on there had to jb weld the plug into the holder there it's nice and secure uh reconnected this wire up to there get this red wire uh resoldered it over here oh a new fuse holder because it was a mess uh got the proper fuses in there every single one of them was wrong of course uh the other thing I did was I went through every switch in the cabinet, cleaned every one. There was about four or five of them that were out of adjustment. Not too bad, but enough to I fix a lot of problems that would otherwise be very hard to find and fix doing it diagnostically. Other, But basically making sure every one of those switches opens and closes as it should when, when the relay actuates. Much easier to do it just by looking at the switches than doing it diagnostically, like trying to trace through the, the uh, schematic. So whenever you get a chance, oh, it, and, and, and it, they need to be cleaned anyway. So I did all that. I also went through all the switches back here. I have not gone through the units yet. So they are probably, yeah, see that's kind of sticky. So it's moving real slow. Then it goes back all right. Going forward, it's it's lagging. So that's dirty, it needs to be cleaned up. I'll get that in a little bit. Uh, the other thing I did was, oh, went through all the switches on the underneath the play field. So uh, again, I've got these hanging down here. Uh, I've got them disconnected because I was clean, getting ready to clean the play field. Uh, if you're wondering, if you got really good vision, you see these diodes. Uh, if you're wondering why there's diodes on EM, it's because this is a late model EM, and uh, it's actually got a rectifier up here in the rectifiers. It's not running much, but it's running the pop bumpers and the uh, flippers. So, uh, so let me drop this play field for you. We'll crank it up. It went all the way through the cycle. It kicked the ball out even. Uh, wasn't a ball in there, but it, it went through the cycle. Uh, the, I will say the first couple times I did this, the uh, score reels were just turning and turning and turning. I haven't gone through the score reels yet. They're still dirty. Uh, but after cycling through a few times, they got a little bit better. Uh, so anyway, this is a good example of just uh, – the way I always attack these things is uh, basically start start with the power, you know. you got to have the power going in here. It was all burnt up, got that going. Uh, they clean all the switches. Next thing I'm going to go through is uh, clean the bonus units, the, the, the coin unit, the player unit, uh, all the units, make sure they're all working. And uh, after I get that done, get the play field cleaned up, put back together, then I'll go through and diagnostically make sure every little feature is working. There'll probably be a few that are not working, but fixing those few features at that point is a lot easier than trying to do them all at once. Uh, you've got to you got to have some basis of stability. You know, you got to under, understand that your all your connections are secure. Oh, the Jones plugs! I went through and cleaned all the Jones plugs. They were a mess. Uh, so you basically, you want to have some confidence that the underlying systems are working, so you can work on more advanced features like, you know, say the alternator, if it's not going back and forth or if the light's not working, you know, you got to, you got to have, uh, ha have something, something working that you can count on so you can work on the more advanced features. Anyway, I'll uh, update you probably in another week. Jane's out of town, so she's not going to be, she does most of the clean of the play fields. And uh, so I probably won't get back to this for about a week or so. Adios.